hi everyone this is mohit and welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video we will discuss pwc interview question and answer for part two so if you miss the part one please watch the part one video as well so we have already discussed uh many questions in the part one so let's move in the part two the first question is what is the difference between x path sorry uh, between x path and uh, CSS, which one is faster? Yes, CSS is uh, faster than XPath. So again, we having the different behavior for CSS and XPath and as per the doc, we can use this, right? So CSS selector have a similar syntax and are processed by the browser CSS engine, which is especially designed to efficiently select the element based on the CSS rules in con contrast XPath selector has a more complex syntax. Yeah. So as compared to CSS, XPath we having the more complex syntax and require to spare the XPath engine to evaluate them and which can be a slower than CSS engine. So this is the reason why XPath is slower than uh, CSS. So second question is, how many test cases you have automated per day? Okay. So guys, so we have to give the technical answer here. So we cannot tell blindly I am automating uh, any like uh, any like four and five test cases. <laughs> okay. So it depend upon the test cases and test case complexity and flow of the test case. Not like that. Okay. So sometime if our test case is complex, then it will take one day and more than the day also. If you have a lesser steps and the flow of the test case is not complex, yeah, we can automate one, two, three test cases. So it depend upon the test case complexity, right? How the test case we have a steps, how many steps are there? Okay, it depend upon the test case. If the test case is having the lesser steps, I can automate two or three. If test case are complex sometimes i can automate only one test case so it's totally depend upon you know how your test case is a test steps and complexity of your test case okay so let's move in the another question how many test cases do you run in your batch execution so if you are going to execute your regression suite right so batch execution execution is executing a certain number of test case at once with without any manual intervention in in between each test case execution normally we do batch execution from minimum 100 test cases to maximum test cases depend upon the regression okay totally depend upon the regression suite how many test cases we have if you have a regression and definitely you having the many test cases okay so it totally depend upon your how your regression is uh, or how many test cases do you have in your regression suite what is the minimum time to run the batch execution again the minimum time to batch uh, batch execution of the test cases depend on the various factors such as number of the test cases in the batch and complexity of the test and the resources of level right so it totally depend upon your how your test cases you have how your uh, script is also designing right so we have to design our uh, script you know our test case like capture the defect our test case is like uh we can have a proper uh, logic and a uh, script designing so we have to take care of each and everything and timing also, right? So sometimes what happened, we are giving the hard coded bit and all. So in this scenario, your test cases execution is a bit slow because you have doing you have done your hard coded. So better we can use a, a better statement explicit or implicit bit. So like these are the things are there, we have to take care. Okay. So let's move in the another test, another okay so some of the like this question is already uh, i have discussed in my previous videos we can just go just i am going to share 
how to generate the report so you can just have a knowledge how to generate the report so how many types of the reports uh, we have so i have already discussed extend report we having the allure report so many reports are there so you know how to uh, you know generate the report and while uh, doing this you have to also know how to integrate that reporting features in your framework tell me about the complex scenario of your application so you guys find any complex scenario and you can explain them what is an exception and tell some exception so this all the question i have covered in my previous video tell me some exception you uh, get while writing the code right so many exception you will get, we are getting right while not writing the code while executing the code how to handle the exception so guys so i have already discussed many uh, types of the exception how many types of the exception we have a list and we have also given the solution so you can just watch if you are not able to find this make a solution from google and all okay so don't worry just i share this question so you will get some idea okay so we have uh, some java program also so write write a program to search a letter in our string and how do you reverse a number in java so this is the simple question how do you sort an array right so these are the common question guys so you have to prepare well okay so that's it in this uh, session guys so if you are new in the channel please subscribe the channel and press bell icon in my channel you will get many things related to interviews we have discussed real time interview question and answer and we have listed our top level of the mnc company so you can just go through that and, and just uh look into that you know what type of the question they are asking it, it's not like the 100% same question they will ask you yeah but you will take the interview yourself list on the question and you can you can try to give your answer if you are if you are preparing for the interview or if you are attending the interview if you are not able to give then give uh, make the proper solution do the practice and that's it okay so see you in the next video bye bye